Hi, welcome to another video in the Make the Cut Projects tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to take a graphic from a Lettering Delights graphic set and show you how to turn it into a file that can be cut with Make the Cut. So we're going to start off by importing the graphic. So I'm going to come up to this little gear and select Pixel Trace and just navigate to the folder that the graphic set is in and in my case it's already on my screen and this is the So In Love graphic set. Now you can see in this set it comes with some colored graphics and some black and white graphics. So I'm going to use the black and white graphic because that traces a little bit easier in Make the Cut. So the one that I'm going to select is this little ladybug and I'll click on open and then it comes up with this tracing screen and it shows me what's going to trace and because this is a black and white image it comes in nice and crisp just with the, the default settings so I'm going to click on import and now I've got the ladybug on my screen now as you can see because it was tracing what it saw I've got just a black outline of the ladybug but what I want are shapes that I can actually cut out on my cutter so the first thing I need to do is break this apart. So I'm going to select it and then right click, come down to Shape Magic and Break. And now you can see that I've got all of these individual shapes that have been broken apart. Now what I'm going to do is delete some of the shapes because I've basically got a shape and then I've got an outline. And I don't want quite that many pieces to cut so I'm going to come up to the head and I'm just going to delete that inner piece so that my head and body is going to cut all as one piece. I'm going to come to the circles and I'm going to delete the outer circles as well. And you can tell which piece you're about to select because when you mouse over it it turns to a red outline. So that makes it nice and easy to see what you're doing. So I'll just continue deleting these outer circles and delete this last circle and these other pieces I'm just going to leave in place. Now of course when you're doing this there's any number of ways you can mix and match the pieces to get the look that you're going for. This is just how I'm choosing to do it. So now that I have all the individual pieces that I want to actually cut I'm going to come over here to layer properties and you can see that right now everything is on one layer. So what I'm going to do is just right click and then click on to each its own and what that will do is take each individual piece and put it on its own layer. So now I can actually start to individually color the layers to get a better idea of what my finished cut piece is going to look like. So I'm going to come down to the bottom to start and the bottom layer I'm just going to leave black and now I'm going to come up and just start coloring in each of the individual layers. So I'll select this color grid and this layer I'm going to make kind of an orange color. This next one is the main body of the ladybug so I want it to be a nice bright red and keep scrolling up. I want all of the dots to be black. Now there's a couple of ways to accomplish this. The way that I have it right now all of these individual dots will cut out as individual pieces. A simpler way to do this is to actually create this body piece with holes in it so that the black underneath shows through and creates the black dots that way. So I'm just going to quickly do that. So to do that I need to select all of the affected pieces. So I'm going to select the body and then each of the holes individually. Now because I changed my body color to red it's a little bit difficult to see what I'm actually selecting. There we go. So now I've got all the pieces selected and I'm going to come down to join. Click on that and now you can see that all of those individual pieces are one piece. If you have the items on different layers colored with different colors, when you do a join or a merge it'll take the color from the top layer. So because the black dots were on top I now have a black body piece. But you can see here in my layers palette that I have a body piece with a bunch of little holes in it. So I'm just going to switch that back to red. Now you'll also notice now I've got some empty layers 
And what happens is when Make the Cut does a merge or a weld, it doesn't delete the layer, it just pulls the item from that layer onto whatever layer the piece is being merged or welded with. Now I can individually delete the layers just by clicking on this little X and that will delete them one at a time. But if you have a number of layers like I do here, you can just come down to this little trash can, delete empty layers, and it will delete all of the empty layers all in one go. So now I just have this last little body piece to color and I'm going to make it a little bit lighter orange, just like that. And there you have your finished ladybug and it's ready to cut out and you have a good idea of what it's going to look like when it's cut because you've been able to add all of the colors to it.